Well, it's that time of year again when the crazies come out. And then they say, it's the end of the world. Well, we are having that again. <laughs> and this time, it's not Harold Camping because, well, he's dead. And it's not the really right-wing religious nut jobs. It's Thor. He's coming back. And it's not going to be pretty. So Thor, Loki, Loki, and all the rest, they are going to attack Saturday. So by the time you actually get to hear this, it may be already be too late. <laughs> The, according to North Mythology, the end of the world is ending this Saturday. Uh, but uh, it was supposed to be 100 days until a, an epic battle. I just found out about it, so sorry. <laughs> but the, the good news is, hey, being it's this late, if you had a wedding to go to and you really didn't want to go to or a meeting you had to go to, well, guess what? Now you don't have to go. <laughs> you can... <laughs> The, actually, this is, it's based on, like I said, it's based on the story behind Ragnarok, it's also known as the uh, Viking Apocalypse, or Doom of the Gods, is arguably the most specific, uh, spectacular, rather, and imaginative than anything Hollywood could dream up. Now, they're going to be having a mock battle out in uh, Reykjavik, I'm sorry, Yavorik Viking Center in the UK, and they predicted that the world's end in February 22nd. What they do is they f have a fake battle to celebrate this. And I don't know if this is, this is something that happens all the time or not, or just, but uh, it, it's something kind of funny. Dave, your thoughts? Wouldn't it be cool if like modern religions had moved to the point where it was all like fake battles instead of people actually thinking the world was going to end? It would be a lot better. I think so too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Besides, Jesus nailed up on a, on a, some sticks. Thor carried a hammer. You do the math. <laughs> oh. Come on, it, seriously, Odin got rid of ice giants. Right. Do you see ice giants today? No. <laughs> awesome. Right. Proof. Good. Proof. It's proof. Odin, it's right. You Odin don't see the ice free. giants. I'm right. sorry, Dave. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. I, I just, I, I think this is so silly. I mean, it, we've got the Mayan end of the world. We've got the Viking end of the world. We've mm -hmm. got, I mean, every, every religion, every, I mean, to me, every religion is mythology. It just depends on whether or not someone is uh, currently believing it or if we've moved past that. Right. But, I mean, throughout time, each of these mythological stories has an end-of-the-world sequence. Mm -hmm. And this one happens to be a lot cooler than a lot of the other ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, this this epic battle, and then the, the world splits open, and the underworld comes up. And, I mean, by the time the world splits open, I assume we'll all be dead. Oh, and yeah, absolutely. It'll be the last thing I have to worry about. You know, if the world splits open, I'm not going to go, yeah, let's go jump down there. Oh, I'll get my splunking gear. You know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of your thoughts. Well, what's cool about this Viking apocalypse is that n no one's taking it seriously. It's just mm -hmm. this big party and uh yes. you know it's it's uh it's fun and i had a lot of fun reading about the mythology and you know i guess that uh they say here that the few gods the few gods who survive will go to Ottaval, which uh they'll rebuild houses and before the battle uh two people a woman and a man uh lift and lift Razer, will find shelter in the sacred tree and when the battle is over they will come out and populate the earth again so oh, you great. know i guess there's there's a new earth after this when the uh, Mayan apocalypse happened, there was a lot, we were all talking about it, and it's funny because uh, Mayans, basically, it, they, they set their calendar that they just couldn't imagine that there would be anything else after their reign. Right. And I've wondered if that is what it is with every single religion or, mm. or uh, society, uh, culture, is that they, this is just their solution because they can't see that their reign will ever end. Right. And uh, so they make it so that they're the victors. They're the ones who finish everything. And that's why there's these stories. I, it's mythology that's been, permeates everything, you know, ancient yeah. cultures. So, yeah. Anyway, so see, it's going to get warmer. It's going to get warmer. It, yes. Be, that's, yeah. then we have something to look forward to here in Wisconsin. The weather's going to change. Furnace, but... Yeah, well, you know. well, then the so, snow will melt quickly. Of course, so will I. <laughs> we'll get marshmallows out and hot dogs. And, and eat them while well. I'm cooking. <laughs> That's right. 
the cook and I'm so will I. <laughs> <laughs> and the, then the ice giants and all the other giants <laughs> yes. going to come up, will eat us, you know, they'll skewer us, I guess. Well, well the, the, I, if they are ice giants, so then you'll, you'll, free, you'll cook, then freeze. It's, it's, I'm trying it's to think like what that. they were called, the... Uh, I, I have it here. The Jotuns, the frost Jotuns. giants, were banished, yes. and so yeah, they have a bunch of different giants in that yeah. mythology or something. I, I assume the ice giants will melt first. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, if there's a, there's a order to things, that's that's probably at the beginning, right? It could be. I I always see them trying to fight like <laughs> other mythical creatures, and they just seem like they they get a arm blown off, and they like grow it right back. So it's like, oh well, they're made of snow and ice and shit. So. You know, it it just you know it's crystalline structure type thing, <laughs> sort of I guess you know <laughs> like snow. I I assume fire is their kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're really big, so it takes a lot of fire, like a nuclear blast. <laughs> Do you, you're not carrying a nuclear weapon on you, are you, Dave? Uh, not when the NSA is listening. <laughs> He already thinking, told Dave. you he has a lighter. That's right. He has a lighter. <laughs> right. I do. I've got a cigarette lighter, and I'm not afraid to use it. That's, that's Don't right. come near me, Mr. Giant. I get a cigarette lighter. He's going to go. 